No, that is correct. I'm just really bad at setting things up. Okay, anyways, gamers, what is up? Today, we're bringing back an old classic, an, an absolute classic if you ask me. A team that all of us wish was still relevant today, which is why I'm going to be bringing it back. We're talking about Cresselia, Heatran, Amoongus, Landorus, Kangaskhan, featuring brand new artist, brand new to the label, Reginald Alecki. That's the team we're using today. I mean, I might switch out Reggie Alecki for something else, but I feel like the electric type's necessary. Uh, Thunderous, unfortunately, got dropped from the, from the team a while back. Uh, but yeah, no, if you're unaware, this is a team that was a little bit common in 2015 at the World Championships. Um, and I honestly think that five of these Pokemon are actually super, super good in this format. Uh, and only one of them is like an anti-meta pick, and that's because it lost its mega form. So that's what we're going to be using today. Today we're going to be uh, trying to revive the the team formerly known as Chalk uh, and using it on the Spike Myth ladder. Yeah. Please, Reginald Electric is his father. Call him Reg. Reggie Alecki. I was trying to shorten Reginald to like a shorten like to Reggie. Not like to Reggie as in the Pokemon, but like Reggie. Like you call Reginald Reggie if they're like young and hip. And I and I, I tried to make it like a joke, but it's just its name. Reggie Alecki is just his name. We have Cresselia. We have a Cobra. Also, it's Chalk. Okay, it's it's Chalk, but with Reggie Alecki instead of Thunderous. Um, because Thunderous is not in the acronym, therefore he was disposable. We could put an Urshifu here, but I think that a uh, Reggie Alecki is the play. We have Cresselia with Cobra Berry, Levitate, Trick Room, Icy Wind. Psychic Protect, uh, pretty pretty bulky set. I'm just eating a, every Urshifu hit and every hit in general. We have Safety Goggles Heatran, uh, very standard spread. We have four speed, and I just kind of optimized EVs, put four in defense, and it's special defense and max out the special attack. He hits things. He has Safety Goggles and Flash Fire. Great switch into opposing fire moves. Awesome partner for Amoongus. Awesome Amoongus counter because we're running Safety Goggles. Um, we have Rocky Helmet Amoongus. We are getting probably <laughs> five hit KO'd by Surging Strikes, which is gonna be really funny. And I really wanna switch this in because we have Lando, right? They see the Lando and they go, oh, I wanna, I wanna kick it and punch it with my Urshifu. And then we switch in the Amoongus and they go, oh, I am now at like 50% health. So that's the fun part. Uh, we have Lander is there, what, well, 60 ish. Uh, 70. Lander Asterion with Assault Vest Intimidate. It is my bulky fat boy set. Very useful, very good. Very good against opposing Landorus and Regieleki. Uh, we have Kangaskhan with Silk Scarf Scrappy because we don't actually have a move to hit ghost types with unless I want to put Shadow Ball on my Cresselia, which I don't. Fake Out, Brick Break, Helping Hand, and Double Edge. Uh, more of a supportive set, but still decently offensive because that Double Edge will hurt with the Silk Scarf and Stab. We're able to hit ghost types with this and Helping Hand are supporting Pokemon, or Helping Hand other Pokemon like our Heatran, probably not our Landers, but we have the option. But what it's going to helping hand is our choice specs Regieleki, which is running Volt Switch, Electro, Thunderbolt, and Ancient Power, so we don't lose to Landers once in a while. It might save us. Let's get into it. I don't know what my ladder is. I'm recording this right after the monkey video. Not right after, but like the last game I played was with the monkey team. So we're 14.05. That's... I, I closed something I didn't mean to. Okay. Um. Heatran looks like it goes crazy this game. Like, their Heatran answers are non existent unless they hold on to this thing for dear life. I think what I want to do is lead off with Kangaskhan Regieleki and bring Heatran in the back to switch in on everything for Naganadel. Um, everything for Celesteel unless they have a ground move. Most things for Rillaboom, if they're not running high horsepower, I should be fine. And I think my last Pokemon will actually have to be Cresselia just to get off Trick Room later on, so we'll do that. Spike Myth Cup? Uh, are you saying, are we playing Spike Myth Cup, or are you asking what Spike Myth Cup is? Because that's going to determine how I respond to you. The Crest is still level 100. No one cares. It's level 50. 
No one cares. Shasha, there you go. Free Marina. Okay, now this is epic. Now, now this is epic. They are not staying in with this thing. Let's uh, let's volt switch. Dude, if they if they were to hand over the pre-marina here, I would have actually exploded. He's gonna do a lot. Hilarious. All right, get in the heatran. Actually, I think I get in Cresselia. No, no, I don't. I get in heatran. And I kind of think. Do I scout for this? I kind of want to scout. I'm a little concerned that they're running the move. Let's go for double edge onto Rillaboom and get in Cresselia. If, if they don't high horsepower here, they just don't have it. Okay, cool. I got that right. Uh, let's get in Heatran now in Trick Room. If they have Encore, I'd imagine they don't have Taunt. Actually, is that a is that a throw? That might be a throw. Let's Icy Wind and get in Heatran. That's probably safer. Yep, I was correct with my uh with my analysis of the situation. All right, uh, we are going to get in the Kangaskhan and Icy Wind again. Because I can't protect in the face of this Whimsicott, nor can I outspeed the Heatran, or nor can my Heatran outspeed Pre Marina. We Tailwind up. Hyper Voice, are you Throat Spray? They are not. We connect on both. Incredible. Um, let's go ahead and let's try to get rid of Pre Marina, because honestly, I think that if we can. I think I think it just comes down to getting rid of Pre Marina. But I kind of want to hold on to Cresselia too. It's a little bit of a rough situation. I can't get in Heatran. Maybe I get rid of Whimsicott. Let's get rid of Whimsicott. It, it opens up a lot of options. Because I can safely protect now. Alright, I'm probably going to drop to this. Yep. I can get in Regieleki now. Um, actually, I get in Heatran here. And I protect. My Lucky's gonna drop to that hit. I think I protect and I Icy Wind. Cool, they went for it. Cresselia, can you hold on? <sighs> Not yet. Not quite. Alright. Well, let's see if Regieleki can uh, can bring it back. <laughs> I have to lock Electroweb. I mean, maybe if I survive this, I'll be fine. I think I Flash Cannon Electroweb. If I can somehow survive this. They might think I'm Sash. That could be an option. So they're actually probably decently scared. But if I Electroweb here and I get rid of the uh, the Primarina, that opens up a lot of avenues to win. Wait, was that was that my out? Probably not. <laughs> probably not. I mean, I'll speed the Rillaboom now. I can Heat Wave here, but I end up losing when the Rillaboom comes back in. I also lose to Primarina. Yeah, I miss it. Or it just lives on one. That's fine. GG. I mean, this seems pretty doable. It's probably Urshifu Water. Probably Urshifu Water on this team. Um, my Amoongus feels a little bit iffy versus this because they do have a lot of options for it. Um, but my Landorus lead seems pretty decent. As well as Cresselia. Actually, Cresselia Heatran feels free. But I don't lead off that way. Um, I lead off Regieleki, Cresselia, Volt Switch into the Heatran, 
And then like AV Lando feels okay, but I think Amoongus might be a little safer. Yeah, let's go Lando. Yep, that's what I figured they would lead off with. Uh, obviously Tailwind is an option, but I don't think they want to go for that, knowing very well that I could just go for my thing. Um... But I'm kind of willing to sack the Regieleki if it means that I can do this. That I can possibly get rid of Driftblim this early. Okay, cool. They didn't Tailwind, which means that was totally worth it. I don't get that off. Incredible. I do have Psychic, which means I can deal with the Urshfu as long as it's not Urshfu Dark. It's Heatran. If they're Tailwind, one would imagine that they're just faster. But they also may be Shooka, which is the main issue here. Um, I can go into Lando here and just get some Psychic damage off. Yep. It's pretty much what I wanted there. Uh, they don't have any switch-ins to double Earth power makes this very very safe like all of their possible switch-ins hate this yeah one two and that one's stab also their choice locked so should be fine now um and i think i end up winning with reggie Alecki regardless so i think we just deal with you flash cannon earth power Yep, they protect. Figured. GG. Cool, got it. Alright, that game went exactly how I wanted it to. That, that was just beginning to end, called every play. Very happy with that one. Let's see if we can replicate it. Been watching your content stream for about a year now. I was a top 50 world Hearthstone player for a minute. I want to know why you gravitate towards Pokemon over other games within the same ballpark. Card games, TFT, that sort of thing. Uh, I like Pokemon because there are cool little monsters, um, and uh, this game has Golisopod. That is, when when they add Golisopod to TFT or Hearthstone, maybe. You'll find a lot of people like Pokemon almost exclusively because it's Pokemon. I was considering skill swap on Cress. I was. Um, I decided not to because I'm better at the game. I'm not. Oh wait, skill swap crest could have gone hard here. Imagine if I just take the shadow tag and I go, no, you. Hello. Um. I actually really like the Kangaskhan Reggie Likey lead here. The Volt Switch plays feel really good. Amoongus feels almost necessary, and I think my last mon's gonna be a Heatran. Maybe this team could use Zarina. It feels a little too passive, this thing, which is why I insisted on the specs thing. Go for Fake Out Volt Switch. I could also go for Fake Out Electroweb. That doesn't seem bad either. Ooh, do I want to Fake Out Electroweb? No, I want to Fake Out Volt Switch. Uh, they don't stay in with Azumarill here, so what I'm going to do is actually helping hand the Volt Switch into the Gothitelle and just one-shot it. If they give me the Azumarill here, that's a major throw. It could also be worth it to do the other thing. Nope, we're fine. It lived! Hello? Okay, cool, they miss. I needed that. What? I was like, there's no way. There's, there's just no way. All right, double edge, spore. Oh my, I'm so surprised that lived. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right, that one shots. Um, let's do this. Let's go with that. Um... Because I think that my play is going to be to always double edge. 
Dude, I could double edge and lock uh, ancient power right now. Do you think that would one shot? Do you think it? Do you think I'm crazy for doing that? I think I'm crazy for doing that, but I think I'm like a good kind of crazy. Let's not. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I'd rather sack that than my other guy any day of the week. However, they do know. Wait, that was a mistake. They know I'm scrappy now. They know that they can actually fake out me. Why? Why? Wait, I might. Hold on. Wait, this is this is the turn. This is the turn. It works out. They're gonna fake out the Kangaskhan. All right, give me the boost. Give me the boost. Give me the boost. Okay, it doesn't matter. The ancient power worked out. That's all I needed. That's all I needed. That's literally all I needed. Um. Check this out. Oh, if I were crazy, if I, they should protect. I'm crazy. I'm cra they didn't protect, did they? They protected. <gasps> All right, one shot. They didn't one shot give me the boost. <laughs> the reject button. Hello? Wait, this is doable. This is 100% doable. All right, crit, crit. song that's this is this is totally winnable this is a hundred percent winnable because they're within ancient power range and double edge range everything's in double edge range like that's literally actually my play is going to be to double edge here and ancient power here they don't have enough protects to win everything's in range they need double protects yeah All right, so they can only switch out one of these. It's most likely gonna be a zoom roll. But I get a, I get two KOs here. I'm trying to think if there's any way. Oh, I think they do win. Actually, if they're doing that, this is my play. Yeah, because they can just switch out a zoom roll and protect. But if they don't, I win. Oh, and I fail the KO anyways. That's sad. That's sad. I thought I had it. I thought I really had it there. All right, GG. Uh, yeah, my Cresselia here is really good. Heatran's also super good. It's for Ferrothorn, though. I think we lead off more or less the same like we have. Probably bring Amoongus in the back. Helps us with Vaporeon in case that actually ends up being a thing. Mr. Penguino. Thank you for the raid. Alright. Let's see. I mean, that's yeah, pretty much the lead I wanted. We could go straight into Heatran. Like, there's no need to do anything here. Faking out's kind of useless. It also reveals Scrappy, so it's not worth it. Yeah, we're good. Uh, Psychic. I don't want to let this thing set up on me. I kind of want to double it. And it kind of seems worth it. I mean, if they go for... Yeah, I'm going to double it. If they go for Nasty Plot, it could be annoying. Special Defense drop? No? That's fine. They're not Citrus Berry, so this is still relatively fine. Even if they follow me, we're good. Yeah, I one shot. This is where the majority of the damage is coming from anyways. Cool. Cool, we're good. Uh, body press Ferrothorn could be a nuisance. It's Lando. I mean, we still just Heat Wave, right? I don't want to Ice win because I don't want to slow anything down. We're good. We win.
All right. Uh, there is no need to do what I was going to do here. Let me check something real quick. Okay, yeah, we are slower. Fail to protect. Awesome, good game. That one went how I needed it to as well. Like, honestly, like, it's it's been a rough night with Chalk. I don't think Chalk's good. I think that, like, Specs Alecki is something that could be good in this format, but it almost requires Zarya, you know, like, 100% of the time, or Ndidi. Ndidi is actually probably for the best, but the issue is I need all five of these Pokemon for it to be the thing I want it to be. Hi, Tanner. Okay, so we saw Dragon Dance Dragapult. Uh, Trick Room feels great. Regieleki feels poggers. Land uh, Heatran is is amazing, and I think I go Amoongus here. All right. <sighs> Turning on the timer on you. I don't know. What do you guys think? Like, obviously, like I could make this team so much better if I went with like 2018's version of Chalk. Which, oh, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> if I went with 2018's version of Chalk, which I'll go over in a second. Let's go! Um, do I want a Trick Room? Yeah, we know that their guy's faster than mine, so this is actually probably worth it. I might have made a mistake. How important is Heatran to winning? A little too important. Go, go, Gadget Amoongus. Okay, cool. They 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 went for Expanding Force. We're fine. Um, And I got my Trick Room off. <laughs> go, go, Gadget Amoongus. That's all I needed to do. I'm going to reverse the Trick Room and Protect. I'm a coward. Now I'm going to Icy Wind. And hope that I just win like a speed tie. True. Alright, the naysayers in chat would say this is unwinnable, but this is actually pretty winnable. Specs Electrobes should do it. I just have to not miss any of my Electrobes for the rest of time. Very easy. Not not easier said than done. Easier done than said. Because it was kind of hard to say that. <laughs> Urshifu Rapid Strike? More like, oh god, please KO. <laughs> More like, oh god, please don't be Sash. It's Sash. Icy Wind, here's the play. Yep, okay, GG, well played. I'm a goober. I, it, it's true, he was right, I'm a goober. Okay, I admit it. Will Tank, how you doing? Ooh, speed tier. No, I don't want to rematch. I'm laddering. Kinda. I'm reverse laddering. Uh, I mean, Heatran goes crazy here. Once again, like, high horsepower Rillaboom could mess with us. Which is why Cresselia is super important. I mentioned that I could totally make this a lot better if I, if I had, like, a Finny on the team, right? But I'm too committed to the, to the acronym. Okay. go with this uh av lando is really good let's do that it's it's too much damage for them to ignore oh this might just ko Yep, okay, cool. 
Um, I they might have triple axled to avoid like. Mm, we'll go heat trend. I don't think they had jump kick ever. Our whip. Okay, that's fine. Archie Drago, we protect here. I can attempt a double edge in case they're not scarf. They are scarf. Cool. Uh, Reggie Lucky here is pretty decent. Gonna always be able to volt switch on this Reggie Draco. Flash cannon volt switch. Getting the Lando here. Lando can eat. The U turn, it's fine. Um, da, 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 da. Pretty sure here I just always protect. And U turn on the Rillaboom. Yeah. Cool. Uh, lock Heat Wave, Lock Electro Web. That should be game. All right. Oh, that didn't KO? Hello? Should still be fine. Protect here. I can't afford to get outsped. That's the issue. That's Rock Tomb. Because I don't actually want to KO it. Oh my god, they, they just went for it. They just, they just went for it. Oh my god, I'm going to lose to that, aren't I? Don't have high horsepower. Don't have high horsepower, please. Knockoff? Okay, we won. Just barely. All right, I'm fine ending it with that. Chalk is, is at the best extremely iffy. Chalk is at the best extremely iffy, at least in the hands of my unqualified uh, piloting skills. But yeah, uh, that's, we're going to end it off there tonight. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a like. Uh, and let's uh, see what we're going to rate on Twitch.